Chapter 01 I'm a Villain You are listening at FameTV.info As a transmigrator, Lin Xiao had always believed that he was a protagonist. Although his appearance wasn't great, he had some sort of background, at least. As the only son of Lin Yu, the family head of the Lin family that was one of Nebula Nation's three major clans, he got whatever he wanted ever since his childhood. In addition, his innate talent for medicine refinement was great, at just 20 years old, he was already a rank 5 medicine refinement master joining medicine pavilion, Lin Xiao, who was an otaku in his last lifetime, just happened to catch sight of Morong Shui, who was a daughter of medicine pavilion, Morong Shui was a pure and kind hearted girl. Mm, Lin Xiao had always thought of her like this. He had seen Murong Shui help those impoverished beggars and had seen her softly smile at some unsightly people. When Murong Shui directed a warm smile like that at him, Lin Xiao felt that even his heart was about to melt using the secret ways of picking up girls that he had personally seen others use in the 21st century, he chased after Murong Shui, giving her flowers, writing her love letters, sending her all kinds of precious items, asking Murong Shui about her health every day but Morong Shui smiled at him less and less, and her attitude towards him became colder and colder. Lin Xiao resolutely believed that he was a protagonist and that there would definitely be a day when he could embrace and marry a beauty, so he resolutely didn't give up, until Ling Luo joined Medicine Pavilion, Ling Luo was brought into Medicine Pavilion because of Morong Shui. Intuitively, Lin Xiao felt that she treated Ling Luo differently. In addition, Lin Xiao had always had a kind of hunch that Ling Luo was also a transmigrator. And there could only be one protagonist, so. Ling Luo was a villain with a thought like this, and with Morong Shui's ambiguous and unclear attitude towards Ling Luo added into the mix as well, Lin Xiao immediately loathed that Ling Luo. He started to target Ling Luo, making things difficult for him and even wanting to kill him, he didn't know what was going on with himself either. When he saw Ling Luo, killing intent just inevitably arose in his mentality that I in the end, during a competition that Medicine Pavilion held, when they went out to look for medicinal ingredients, Lin Xiao was killed by Ling Luo, Lin Zhao's soul floated upwards. He saw that his own body was completely bloodied on the ground and then saw that, while the person to the side was also covered all over in blood, Ling Luo hadn't suffered injuries that were too severe. Lin Xiao grieved, indignant. What a ball. Ache. Why did he die in the end? Wasn't he a protagonist? Wa, he and Ling Luo had similarly transmigrated, so why was he the one who died? This was fucking unfair. No one could hear a ghost's raving. White light flashed once in front of his eyes, and then Lin Xiao found that he had unexpectedly returned to the 21st century again, before his eyes, there were things that he hadn't seen in a long time such as a computer, a desk, and a book on the desk. Lin Xiao picked up that book, don't ask me how a ghost could grab a book, and on top of its surface, three large words were written, Heavenly Firmament Alteration. Opening up the book, the name of its protagonist gave Lin Xiao a shock, Lin Luo, with just a mention of this name, Lin Xiao hatefully felt his teeth ache. With his fingers, he flipped open the novel and began reading from the first page, until he had reached the last page and finished reading. The book in Lin Xiao's hands fell onto the ground with a bang, the story described in the novel was one that Lin Xiao didn't want to be all that familiar with. This story was the story of the world he had been living in before he had died in it, could it be that he had transmigrated into a novel? Lin Xiao felt his balls ache terribly. He had always believed that he was a protagonist, ever since he had initially transmigrated into that mainland, he had always thought this way. In the end, he only found out after reading this novel today that he had initially transmigrated into a novel, and in addition, he was a villain who was even that kind of canon fodder villain. A villain that caused a protagonist to level up and obtain beautiful women. No wonder he could never defeat Ling Luo. The reasons were in here. A protagonist in a Xuanhuan novel usually had a few of these scientific laws backing them, the scientific law that a protagonist wouldn't die the scientific law that, even if they landed in danger, they could still gain lucky opportunities, the scientific law that a protagonist must start out with cheats. 
Ling Luo had come into contact with a medicine refinement master who had lived for several hundred years within his body. The scientific law that beautiful women will throw themselves at a protagonist and embrace them. In the ending, there were no less than six beautiful women who groveled at the hem of Ling Luo's medicine refinement master gown, and all of them were outstanding. And him. In the novel, there was only a very minor incident. Ugly and with a normal innate talent for cultivation, people could only admire how his innate talent was inclined towards being a medicine refinement master after he died, when the Lin family found out that it was Ling Luo who had acted out and wanted to exact vengeance, Medicine Pavilion protected Ling Luo since Ling Luo's medicine refinement master's innate talent was also valued by Medicine Pavilion. The Lin family basically had no way to act out and had no choice but to endure and wait for an opportunity to attempt murder. In the end, a matured Lin Luo effortlessly wiped them out instead, reading up to here, Lin Zhao's eyes couldn't help but ache somewhat, and he rubbed at them that father who loved him dearly was implicated just because of someone like him, who didn't clearly know his place. Letting out a sigh, Lin Xiao thought that God, no, it was the author who was really playing with his feelings. In one book, there were two transmigrators, so wasn't this all just because the author wanted to have them fight each other at close quarters? It was the exact embodiment of the saying that one mountain couldn't have two tigers living on it together, unless one was male and one was female that A.S. Lin Xiao lamented his own tragic fate while in the state of being just a soul, he suddenly felt a wave of attractive force, it was probably going to end. Lin Xiao closed his eyes, letting that attractive force have its way and pull at his soul, opening his eyes once again, Lin Xiao became aware that there was someone who was restraining themselves to just hold his hand. That person's hand was dry and warm, and their palm was somewhat calloused. Angling his head over to look, a familiar face appeared in his field of vision F.A., Father. Lin Xiao stammered out, after staring blankly for a moment, M.M. the eyes of Lin Yu, the family head of the Lin family, widened when he saw his son. Immediately, he happily cried, Xiao.er, you have finally woken up. You have already slept for two days and two nights like this. You really worried your father to death. Lin Xiao opened his mouth, feeling like this situation was rather indescribably familiar. He furrowed his eyebrows, and with a slightly hoarse voice, he asked, Father, I, how old am I this year? Xiao er, could your fever be clouding your head? Lin Yu furrowed his eyebrows and covered Lin Zhao's small forehead with one wave of his hand, confirming that the fever had subsided. He left the bedside so that he could pass a cup of water to Lin Xiao with both hands. Only then did he open his mouth to add, after a few more days pass, you will be turning thirteen years old. Sure enough, Lin Zhao's eyes lit up. This was the moment when he had first transmigrated into when the original body's soul, which was almost about to turn 13 years old, developed a high fever, faded away, and was replaced by Lin Xiao, who was from the 21st century. Right now, had he returned again that he firmly pinched himself, and it did hurt. This wasn't a dream, ha. <laughs> Lin Xiao couldn't help but audibly chuckle as he took a sip of water and moistened his throat. After casting a side glance towards Lin Yu, who had furrowed his eyebrows and started looking suspicious, he hastily held back his smile and reassured, Father, I am all right. It's just that my head is somewhat dizzy since I only just woke up. Lin Yu nodded his head and noted, then, Xiao. Er, you should rest for a while. After you have gotten up, go fill your stomach with some porridge. Your fever has only just subsided so eating some large amounts of non-vegetarian food is unwise. Finished speaking, Lin Yu tucked Lin Xiao into bed properly with the quilt on top of his body before turning around and going out. The original Lin Xiao didn't like anything that didn't have meat, so his whole body had already become a huge monster from eating. Although the subsequent Lin Xiao had consciously lost weight after transmigrating, he couldn't even lose a significant amount of it the amount of fat on his body was still tenaciously increasing. Lin Xiao looked like he could somewhat understand the pain of losing weight that those women in the 21st century suffered through. 
The door was shut with a bang, Lin Xiao stretched out his hand that was inside the quilt and lifted it in front of his eyes to take a good look, the arm in front of his eyes was pale and weak, and some loose fat that wrapped itself around thin bones was vaguely visible. Lifting up his other hand, he pinched the loose fat on his arm, not knowing if it was just an illusion or not. Lin Xiao thought that his arm seemed to be a little thinner than it had been when he had woken up here in his last lifetime. Sighing once, Lin Xiao retracted his arm back into the quilt and closed his eyes. No matter what, losing weight in this lifetime was definitely the first thing he had to take care of after being reincarnated. He didn't forget that, inside Heavenly Firmament Alteration, there was a scene like this, in a secret location, Ling Luo came across Morong Shui. Seeing Ling Luo, Morong Shui's eyes rounded, and she chirped, Great, I finally found you, Ling Luo. Her smile was warm and sunny. This kind of smile seemed to melt Ling Luo's ice.cold heart a little. Looking towards Morong Shui, he also smiled. I killed Lin Xiao. Not expecting to hear these kinds of words just as she ran into him, Morong Shui was dumbfounded. After a moment passed, she finally asked, What are you going to do? The Lin family's influence within Nebula Nation's clans isn't insignificant. She didn't bother to wonder about how Ling Luo, with the strength he had shown, could even kill Lin Xiao, who had already reached the early stage. She only furrowed her eyebrows, beginning to think of ways for Ling Luo to deal with the aftermath. Fortunately, you have already joined Medicine Pavilion. Medicine Pavilion can definitely protect you thoroughly, unexpectedly, Morong Shui had spoken these kinds of words. The corner of Ling Luo's mouth tilted upwards as he lifted a hand to pat Morong Shui's forehead, asking, Lin Xiao has been chasing after you for so long. You don't even feel a trace of affection for him. Morong Shui had already been secretly in love with Ling Luo for a long time. It was just that Ling Luo had always treated her neither warmly nor passionately. This time, he was clearly showing his affection, and it practically made her euphoric. She replied, truthfully. I really loathe Lin Xiao. He's so fat, but he still looks at me with a smitten expression, and he's always so conceited. I've been disgusted by him for a very long time, it's just that I've always been too embarrassed to say so, and, I like you. Morong Shui finally said the words that she had buried within her heart for a long time already. Her two cheeks couldn't help but become somewhat rosy. Biting her lip, she totally didn't dare to look at Ling Luo, scared that Ling Luo would reject her, Morong Shui fell into a warm embrace and stayed there for a long time, what a touching scene that a smile surfaced on Lin Zhao's face, which was buried inside the quilt. He didn't expect that Morong Shui had loathed him so much. After learning that he had been killed by Ling Luo, she didn't even feel a single bit of sadness, and she could even be happy. What could he say? Should he be sad that his sincerity had been tossed away, who could this be blamed on? Who caused him to be unable to clearly see the numerous flaws in his appearance at that time, one that was fundamentally not good enough to attract women, to say nothing of a goddess like Morong Shui? Who caused him to always resolutely believe that he was a protagonist and always put himself in opposition against Ling Luo, fortunately, he could start over one more time. In this lifetime, Lin Xiao wanted to let himself slim down, and also, not even mentioning the prospect of clinging to Ling Luo's thighs, he just wanted to maintain the appearance of having harmonious relations with Ling Luo, at least. Mm, he could definitely be considered to be scared of Ling Luo's protagonist Halo. In his last lifetime, not only did he die at Ling Luo's hands, but even the Lin family had been nearly destroyed at Ling Luo's hands. How could he not be scared, once bitten, twice shy? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.